Hey everyone, it's Miss Spencer. Today we'll be learning how to multiply a whole number by a fraction. Let's start with a review of vocabulary. We'll be reviewing two words. The first word is the word of. In math, of means that we'll be multiplying. The other word is is. When we're referring to is in math, we're referring to what something is equal to. An example of this might be one half of 10 is five. We can rewrite this as one half times 10 equals five. Now let's try it with here one half of six. So we're trying to find half of the number six. We can start with a tape diagram. Notice that this is split into two parts because our denominator is two. The entire tape diagram is worth six since that's the number that we're trying to find a portion of. Well, now we need to think what each part represents. There are two parts here, and we are trying to find a number that we can repeatedly add two times to equal six. Another way to think of repeated addition is multiplication. We have two parts, so we're multiplying that something by two. What can we multiply by two to get to six? That would be three. So each part is going to be worth three. Let's add three plus three, and we can see that equals six, which is the total worth of our tape diagram. So if we're trying to find half of six, we're just gonna be looking at one of these two parts. We can see that one of these two parts is worth three. So half of six is three. Now we're gonna try to find half of a number is six we need to figure out what that total number is. So we're gonna again start with a tape diagram. Notice it's broken up into two parts since the denominator is two. But here, we don't know what the total worth of the tape diagram is. We're trying to find that out. We know that half of the tape diagram is worth six. So this one part is worth six. If this first part is worth six, that means the other part is also worth six because it, it, they're equal parts. So now we can see that we have two parts, each worth six. The total tape diagram is 12 because six plus six is 12. So when half of a number is six, the total number is 12. Let's try another problem. Here we have three fourths of 12. So we're gonna create a tape diagram broken up into four equal parts since the denominator is four. The entire tape diagram is worth 12 since we're finding a portion of 12. Now we need to figure out what each part represents in this tape diagram. We need to repeatedly add the same number four times to get to 12. And we know repeated addition is the same as multiplication. So here we have four parts times something equals 12 we know four times three equals 12. So each of these parts is gonna be worth three. Here we have three, six, nine, 12. Now, we don't wanna know for the whole type diagram, we only wanna know for three of the four parts. So let's highlight three of those parts. Now that those three parts are highlighted, we can see that three fourths of this entire number would be three, six, nine. So three-fourths of 12 is nine. Here we have three-fourths of a number is 12. So once again, we're gonna start with a tape diagram broken up into four equal parts since our denominator is four. We don't know what the entire tape diagram is worth yet. That's what we're trying to figure out. But we do know that three of these four parts added together equals 12. We need to figure out what each of these parts is worth. So we're thinking, what number can we repeatedly add to get to 12? Well, we know repeated addition is the same as multiplication. So three times what equals 12, that would be four. So each of these parts is worth four. We can see that's four, eight, 12, and that's how we got the 12 here. So if each of these parts is worth four, we know this remaining last piece is also gonna be worth four. Now that the entire tape diagram has all of its parts filled out, we can figure out the whole number. We have four, eight, 12, six, 
16, so the entire tape diagram is worth 16. Now let's try this in a word problem. Michael spent four six of his money on baseball cards. If the baseball cards went $24, how much money did he have at first? So what we're really doing is finding four six of a number is 24. So Michael had a certain amount of money, amount of money that he started the day with. He spent four six of that money on baseball cards, but we need to figure out how much money he had at the start of the day. So we're going to first create a tape diagram broken up into six equal parts since our denominator is six. We are not sure what the entire tape diagram is worth yet, but we know that four of these six parts is worth 24. So now we need to think of a number that we can repeatedly add four times to get to 24. Repeated addition is the same as multiplication. So four times a number equals 24. We know that four times six equals 24. So each of these parts is worth six. We have six, 12, 18, 24. And each of these parts here is worth six. The last two remaining parts are also each worth six. So now we just added six more to the 24 we already had. That's 30 plus another group of six is 36. So the entire tape diagram is worth 36. Michael had $36 at first. 